Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In this series, we'll be working on a 3D game, Slug Race 3D, where players will put bets on racing slugs. Now that we know what we want to do, the question is how to do it and what software to use. We will need a minimum of two things, the Panda 3D game engine and the text editor or IDE where we can edit our code. This is all we need for our environment setup. So let's start with installing Panda 3D. There are a couple ways you can install Panda 3D. Here I'm going to describe the two most common ones, using the installer and pip installation. Let's start with the Panda 3D installer. But what is Panda 3D at all? Well, Panda 3D is a 3D engine, a library of subroutines for 3D rendering and game development. The library is C++ with a set of Python bindings. Game development with Panda 3D usually consists of writing a Python or C++ program that controls the Panda 3D library. Well, this is what you can read on panda3d.org in the manual, not my words. So I suggest you visit the website and read more about Panda 3D if you're interested. And when you're ready, we can install Panda 3D. Now, this may change, but at the time of recording this video, this is what it looks like when you go to panda3d.org. Now click Get the SDK. If you're on a Windows machine like I am, you can get the installer here. If you work on a different system, scroll down to find more installers. Anyway, download your installer and run it to install Panda 3D. You can also install Panda 3D using pip, so we need a console. This is very easy. Just type the following command in your terminal pip install panda 3d and it will do the job for you. If you want, you can also specify the version of the engine that you want to install. At the time of recording this video, the current version is 1.10.7, so we can specify it like so. pip install panda equals equals 1 10, 7. Well, I'm not going to install Panda 3D now because it's already installed in my computer. Anyway, this method can be used if you already have Python installed on your computer, which is very probable. If you don't, using the installer would be more appropriate as it will install the Python interpreter as well. Whichever method you choose, for the next steps, I assume you have Panda 3D installed on your system. The next thing we're going to need for our environment setup is a text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor or IDE of your choice, but if you want to follow along and use the exact same editor as I do, just feel free to download and install it from their website, codevisualstudio.com. The installation is pretty straightforward. Now the Visual Studio Code has been installed and here I open it. And now your Visual Studio Code editor will probably have a dark theme with which it comes as a default. I like the light theme better, so I change it in the settings. So here in the settings you can choose color theme and select one of these. I leave it as is. but you can choose any theme you like. Now, in order to use Panda 3D and Python in Visual Studio Code, we'll need at least the Python extension. So let's click on Extensions here and type Python. 
Now here we have the first position, Python, which is already installed on my machine, but if it isn't on yours, just click the little install button, which should be over here. Good. And that's it. You're ready to start coding. In the next part, we write our first basic Panda 3D app. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.